Good morning, my name is Engineer Piyush Pandey. Welcome to today's session of Motivational Skills and the topic for today's discussion is Develop industries related to whatever is available in your state. Ladies and gentlemen, in India, there is huge industry and diversity. Now, there are certain specific places that we know that they are IT hub of the country. For example, Bangalore, Delhi and Siyar, Hyderabad. Similarly, there are many other industrial areas in the country also which are well known for different types of goods that they produce, different types of goods that they manufacture. But still, we are not a good industrially developed nation. And how can we achieve this target? This is very important. In order to ensure 100% job opportunity for the youth of the nation, the only thing that we can do is we need to understand that what is the geographical structure of our country. Ladies and gentlemen, India is a land of diversity and the geographical status of every state of the country is different. And depending on that geographical status, different types of goods are produced in different states of the country. And it also depends upon different climatic conditions of different states of the country. So whatever different states are producing, whatever raw material is available in different types of states, we must try to establish industries related to those raw material. For example, in hilly areas like Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand, since life is very tough, they are hill areas, certain things are not possible in those states. Similarly, in places where there are deserts, like Rajasthan, there are many things which are not possible because of desert area. But it doesn't mean that nothing is possible in these locations. Whatever is the specificity of these specific locations, these specific states, industries should be developed related to those specificity. Growth of industry doesn't mean that you develop only IT industry and manufacturing industry. Industry can be related to anything. We just want that industries should be developed in different parts of the country. And if we want to ensure overall, overall growth of India in industrial terms, we need to develop industries in every state of the country. That is what we need to do. But the point is, what type of industries we should establish in different states of the country? There is huge diversity. Each state is different from every other state of the country in terms of diversity. That's why we should first of all thoroughly try to understand that what types of raw material are available in different types of the states of the country. And then we must establish industries related to that. In this way, we will have different types of industries in different states of the country and all the states of the country will provide equal job opportunities to the youth of the nation. When this thing happens, different types of industries, depending upon the geographical structure of the state of the country, they get developed. They will provide equal job opportunities to every kind of graduate in the country. Doesn't matter in which part of the country that graduate is. Maybe Rajasthan, Himachal Pradesh, West Bengal, any state of the country you take. At that time, job opportunities will be equally available to every type of graduate in every state of the country. And this is known as true industrialization. Why we have fixed our mind that industrialization only means developing few, uh, few structures like IT structure, manufacturing structure and retail structure. We can develop anything that we want. It only depends upon the vision of politicians, the chief ministers of different states that are running these states. It only depends upon vision of chief ministers of the state that whatever raw material your specific state is producing, whatever raw material your specific state has got, develop industries according to that. And once you have developed industries according to that, try to include 
courses related to those industries in professional colleges of these different states. It means that whatever is getting produced in industries, same types of things students are studying in different professional colleges, it will again ensure 100% placement for different types of students. Ladies and gentlemen, 100% job surety is only possible if we follow this step. This is the most crucial step by the help of which we can permanently eliminate unemployment in the country. This is the only step that needs to be taken by different politicians of different states. To the people who are living in Rajasthan, we are not saying that you should be like people of Delhi and CR. To the people living in Delhi and CR, we are not saying that you should be like the people of Hyderabad. To the people living in Hyderabad, we are not saying that you should be exactly same as the people of Bombay. Different states, different cities of country, they are having their own geographical diversity. Because of this geographical diversity, different sets of raw materials are available in different types of states. What raw material you are finding in one state, you will never find it in another state of the country. This is the rich cultural diversity of India and we are proud of that. We just need to understand this, that what type of raw materials are available in different states of the country and then we need to establish industries according to that. This is the only criteria of ensuring 100% industrial growth in the country. There is no other criteria. If you think that same types of uh, industries can be set up in every state of the country, it is not possible. Try to understand the different geographical region. Try to understand the diversity of this country and then move ahead in the direction of industrialization. That's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you loved my today's video. Please subscribe my channel ER Piyush Pandey Trainer Beta MBA and please press the bell icon for constant updates. Thank you very much.